Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is me, Curly K Glam, and I'm here today to bring you something different. Okay, um, as you know, here on my channel, if you're familiar with my channel, and if you're subscribed, and BT Dub, if you're not subscribed, take the time to hit sis's subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Curly K Glam. And um, I'm just coming here because I want to try something new on my channel. It's not really new. It's just something different, really. Well, I guess that's new. Anyway, um, if you're interested in this wig, I have reviewed this wig before. This is a um, Kiki Straight synthetic unit that I bought off Amazon. I will leave the link down below if I don't forget. But if I do forget and you are interested in this wig, please search my channel for um, my Amazon um, synthetic wig review. This is the only synthetic wig that I reviewed on my channel that is from Amazon. Okay, I thought about, you know, I used to review Grownish, and that was like my first time like dabbling in TV show reviewing. So, since this wave of um new, not new, but older, nostalgic black sitcoms is coming out, I just wanted to um review some older sitcoms from like the 90s and during the time that I grew up that you know of course i'd heard of and was familiar with and seen episodes here and there like when they're on tv for reruns but now that streaming is a thing and we can actually watch a show in order the show that i will be talking about slash discussing slash ranting about is hanging with mr cooper now if i'm not mistaken hanging with mr Co hanging with mr cooper was a, originally a abc or abc family show which is now ABC slash Freeform. So, Hanging with Mr. Cooper, in the beginning, was a show based on three friends who lived together in a house. Mr. Cooper, who was played by Mark Curry. Um, he was a professional basketball player, but then he ended up getting cut from the um, Golden State Warriors. And so he ended up, you know, teaching at a local high school in Oakland. So the show takes place in Oakland. I watched this show on Hulu, and I'm not going to lie. It was a struggle for me to watch Hang With Mr. Cooper initially in the beginning. And, um, well, not in the beginning, but maybe towards the middle of the show. And um, I don't know why sometimes sitcoms have to go through this, but I've seen a lot of black sitcoms that were primarily in the same time frame go through this. So... Hanging with Mr. Cooper, like I said, was based on three friends. They all lived in Oakland, which I think this is the only show that takes place in Oakland that I know of because, you know, I could be ignorant to some other TV shows, but that's neither here nor there. So, initially, Don Lewis, who played Jaleesa on Different World, was in the show. And Holly Robinson Pete had been, you know, a show regular throughout the duration of the TV show. So in the beginning, the show was good. I like the camaraderie of the show. Um, the intro was, you know, colorful and bright, just like the '90s. The '90s was full of color, and it was full, it was bright. And so, Mr. Cooper was supposed to be like that um, swaggy, down to earth young teacher that is at your high school. And no lie, I had a um, teacher at my school, and when I was in high school, named Mr. Cooper, and he was like a swaggy, legit young teacher, and he also coached basketball. He wasn't tall like Mark, but he was a swaggy, and all the dudes like was like, yo, cool, yo, cool, Mr. Cooper. You know, he was like that teacher, just like Mark. And so, of course, from the beginning of the show, there was a student named Irvin who's played by Omar Epps. So Omar Epps was basically a recurring character throughout the whole show until probably season four or season five, which we know Omar, not Omar Epps, Omar Gooding. Sorry, y'all. Omar Gooding, who was Cuba, Cuba Gooding Jr.'s brother. He was very popular and actually was on the scene, I guess, before Cuba was. But um, I think hanging with Mr. Cooper was probably one of his, like, on screen TV regulars shows before he got smart guy. So I thought Omar Gooding was a good um add to the show. Mr. Cooper had tons of guest appearances on his show. He had Cheryl Miller, he had Jamie Foxx. I even saw um Countess Vaughn in one episode. Of course Marlon Santana was in one. Um 
I think his name is Dion Richardson, if I'm not mistaken. But he um he played Jordan on Sister Sister. He played Tamira's boyfriend Jordan. Um who else? They had um Dwayne. His name ain't Dwayne in real life. I can't remember his real name, but he played Dwayne on one on one. He was on the show. Um, who else? Of course you had a number of like basketball players. Um, and football players, but um, the shows even the Olsen twins played on one episode. I ain't gonna be scuba, but anyway, so this show was kind of popping. I could see it was very popular. The show ended up having five seasons. The last season, all the seasons had 20 plus episodes except for the fifth season, which I don't know why, but we'll you know get into that. So, originally, like I was saying, the intro back then in the 90s, all TV show intros were mostly sang by R&B acts or popular hip-hop acts. And so, in the beginning of season one of Hanging with Mr. Cooper, I'm on six minutes already, I'm rambling. On Mr. Cooper, his initial um, song was sang by Don Lewis, Holly Robinson, Pete, and In Vogue, which I was like, okay, that's fine. So, the show was basically like they're all friends. I can't remember what Don's character did on the show. But I know um, Holly Robinson Pete was a spoiled, bougie um, girl throughout the duration of the show. Um, of course, Mark dated. He was a playboy, so he had all these girls that he dated. And then, at the end of the first season, Don Lewis leaves. And I'm just like, sis, what happened? And to this day, I still don't know what happened. I'm probably going to have to go and do further research on what happened because... I don't know why shows always be good and it's, it's just the chemistry is good and then somebody will leave. Like, what's up with that? But anyway, so then after she left, they tried to um, basically change, I guess, the plot of the show a little bit. It's kind of like reminds me of what In the House went through because that show also had five seasons and then they had all these different class. The show wasn't really cohesive. So for the most part, Hanging with Mr. Cooper was cohesive for the most part. But when they bought in, um, her name is Sandra Quarterman. She played Geneva Lee. And then when they bought Raven in and she played Nicole Lee, um, it, I, it it took some getting used to because it seemed like Mr. Cooper had got kind of dry. Like from what I can remember, season one was funny. But then seasons two and halfway through three was just an adjustment period, so to say. It wasn't awkward, but it was more so of an adjustment period because I guess the cast had to, you know, find their judge with each other. You know what I'm saying? Of course, this with Raven playing on the show, that bought, you know, extra viewers to hang with Miss Cooper because of star power of Raven because everybody was obsessed with the cute little girl that was on the Cosby show. So Raven ended up playing, her and her mom ended up playing um, on seasons two through five. And then they bought in the principal of the high school Mark was working at, who was supposed to be a family friend or someone who used to watch out after him. And so she played on season, all of season two, and I think most of season three. And then in season four, she left the show, and so Geneva, who was Mark's cousin, who I told you was played by Sandra Quarterman, she ended up, she was a music teacher at the high school. She came from a country town, I guess somewhere in Alabama, and her and her daughter came and lived with Mark and Vanessa in the house in Oakland, and then she became the music teacher. But then when the principal left the school, she became the interim principal for the school. And so during this time, Mark had like different opportunities to leave, but then somehow he would end up coming back. So then he had an interview with, I think San Diego State, but because something crazy happened, he ended up messing up that interview. And then he had an interview to um, coach at the Georgetown, um, at Georgetown for Georgetown Hoyas men basketball team. That ended up messing up, and he ended up giving it, giving the job up and staying at school for the kids. So then he was assistant head coach of the basketball team in the beginning, and then he ended up being the full basketball, the full time head basketball coach. He was head of ROTC, he was a counselor at the school, and he taught basically whatever else 
or was advisor over whatever else Geneva needed him to be at the time. Um, for the most part, Mr. Cooper was funny. I can only think of out of all the seasons, one episode where they had like a serious episode, and that was against um gun violence in the schools. And basically, Bumper Robinson played in that episode. He played the school thug. And one of the girls that Irvin was talking to, who he was liking, she actually got shot and killed because of gang violence in California. So I thought that was a pretty um, touching episode. And, you know, I guess was enlightening for that period of time. Because I think around the time Mr. Cooper was out, I was probably actually when Mr. Cooper was on air. The show ended in 97, so at the time I was five. Um... But I think most of the time, basically, to me, in the 90s, what killed 90s sitcoms, especially what killed black 90s sitcoms, was them switching the night that the show comes on. Like, why <laughs> would they do that? If you know your core audience is going to be at home Friday night to watch the show, why would you move the show to Saturday and that's exactly what happened with Hanging with Mr. Cooper. The show ended up coming out. It was part of their... It might not have started out on Friday, but it got so popular that it was part of the Friday night lineup that was on ABC. And then I think they booted it for Sabrina the Teenage Witch. And no shade, but Sabrina the Teenage Witch was not all of that. Like, that show was very, very dry. And that cat was creepy. Like, I don't know. I don't know who enjoyed Sabrina the Teenage Witch. But to each his own, I mean, everybody got their own taste. But I don't think that Hang With Mr. Cooper should have got the boot to Sabrina the Teenage Witch. That's just that on that. Also, at the end towards, I think, toward the middle of... No, no, no. At the end of season three, something strange happened where... They tried to set it up where Mark and Vanessa was going to be together. So basically, um, Geneva's aunt came and she felt their heads and did something weird and was like, they're going to be together. And so then they tampered with the idea of Mark and Vanessa being together. They was like, nah, all right, that's not a thing. And so they went on. So, Gene not Geneva, Vanessa had just broke up with her fiance because she was going to get married to a doctor and they had moved to New Guinea. And then she came back. It didn't work out, so she was dating, Mark was dating, and then that was the end of that. So then, at the end of season three, she's dating somebody, and Mark all of a sudden is jealous. Like, they didn't build none of it up. Like, and I'm following, because like, like I said, it was a big gap in between me finishing season two and three, and then season four, no, season two, it was a big gap in me finishing season two, and then starting three through five. Three was good four was good the chemistry on the show was good geneva central quarterman was actually very funny um you got to see raven and little boy tyler grow up on the show even though they had them playing way younger than what they were because i believe them kids was older than that they was playing like very young middle schoolers and they at least looked like they was in the eighth grade <laughs> i don't know why shows do that like Shows act like kids cannot grow up on camera. I'm just like, if she started the show at seven and y'all been on TV five years, let that girl turn 12. Her body is going to change. Her voice is going to change. The way she look is going to change. Why can't y'all adapt with that? She can't be the baby forever. So it's just like, let them grow up. Like TV shows back then didn't allow the children to grow up and evolve and develop on camera. They could, they... They didn't let them change or nothing. Like, they just had to be little kids forever. So, um, basically, like I was saying, Mark and Vanessa ended up being together toward the end of the third season and saying they had feelings for each other. Then all of a sudden, or was that the end of the fourth season? Whatever. It was the end of one of them seasons, three or four they ended up entertaining the idea of being together and they thought they had all this chemistry. Then next thing you know, two episodes later, Mark thinks that Vanessa's old fiance is coming back and so he proposes to her. So they literally had been going together two episodes and then they was engaged. 
And so then majority of season five was them planning a wedding. And then at the end of the season, there was, you know, there was, there wasn't even a wedding. So I don't know who wrote, I mean, and if you look at the credits and if you look on like line, you can see that Hangin' with Mr. Cooper went through three different production teams. They went through three different directors. Like the show didn't keep the same set of executives. And you could tell like with the plot. So I'm guessing with all that going back and forth, the writing for the show had changed. Like it was just a mess, especially toward the fifth, the end of the fifth season. And the fifth season only had 13 episodes. And then I stayed up <laughs> trying to finish my show because I only had one more episode to go. So I made myself stay up. Bruh. Do you know at the end of the episode, they didn't even wrap up the show. Basically, Mark was like, thank you for 100 episodes. We love y'all. Good night. I'm like, what kind of ending is that for the fans? What about the fans? Like, we, how are you going to develop a show for five seasons? People sit there and grow attached to the characters. And then it's just blah. Like, blah. Like, how do y'all do it? <laughs> How do y'all do that? And then you put us all through Mark and Vanessa getting together and there was no wedding. I read online that at the last episode, the last episode actually aired on TV only one time. Because I think around the show, around the end of the show, they said that the broadcast was interrupted because Princess Diana had passed. Rightfully so, which that should have aired. But... As far as syndication, I don't remember hanging with Mr. Cooper being on TV like that. Like, it is never a time where you can flip a channel on TV and not see Family Matters or The Cosby Show or Sanford and Son or The Parkers. Like, it's just certain TV shows that are all... Certain black TV shows that are always on TV. I never see hanging with Mr. Cooper on TV. A different world even had a little bout where it was always on TV, but now it's not on TV like that no more. So I'm just like, what happened? Oh, and Martin and Fresh Prince is definitely always on TV. So I'm like, what happened? What happened to Hanging with Mr. Cooper? Does anybody else, like, is anybody from the Hanging with Mr. Cooper era, like, do y'all know, like, what happened? Because I felt like with the development of the show, I feel like the characters really got good and going around the season three to season four and then season at toward the end of season four they just dropped the ball and it looked like they just threw the rest of the show together for the fans and then was like this is it fans y'all done that's it it's no more the show is a wrap and then they could at least finish the other half of season five and gave them the other 13 episodes let mark and vanessa get married and then in a show like that, and that's finito. Y'all could have wrapped it up. Y'all just left us all on edge like that. I hate when shows leave you on edge. <laughs> I felt like, I felt like, I felt like all the time I spent watching Hang with Mr. Cooper was in vain. And I hate when I watch a TV show and I feel like my viewership was in vain. I felt I felt like that with Living Single. And I rewatched Living Single for a second time. And plus, I will be coming with a Living Single video. I think I'm going to feel like that at the end of Moesha, which I'm going to come back and give a rant about that. Hopefully, Sister Sister is not that way. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do the game because I recently watched the game on Hulu. I think the game, all the seasons of the game, the CW episodes and the BET episodes were on Hulu. But I think the only reason why CW, I mean, I, the only reason why I think season one through three are on Netflix is because of the legalities between some one network owning certain seasons and then the other network owning the other ones. So, we'll see. We will see. But I'm going to need for... I'm going to need the black channels to step up and to air, like, TV shows besides Martin, Fresh Prince, Cosby Show, and Family Matters. I'm going to need for them to air some more black reruns. That way, 
the generation coming up now that was raised i don't know what this generation was i don't know what they watched honestly but we had good tv in the 90s and in the early 2000s we had great tv so i wish you know for them i wish they could see like i ain't gonna say wholesome but what you know nice clean tv was about <laughs> i said nice clean tv i like shows that actually had like creative control like shows that had imagery like i feel like sitcoms like the parkers don't happen no more and i feel like the only black sitcom that i actually really watch right now like avidly is blackish so yeah y'all i think my rant over about hanging with mr cooper i'm so disappointed like i'm so disappointed <laughs> mr cooper <sighs> oh that was an era, though. That was an era. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, sis. I will be back with more of these 90s TV shows overview. I will be back. <laughs> I don't know who's going to be next. Well, stay tuned. Might be Living Single. Might be Moesha. Sister, sister, come out on Tuesday. But, peace.